are firm. I'm going to tell you a story of the early history of the Middle Kingdom. Uh, maybe not so early as all that. There are people in this room who saw the story and people in this room who heard the story from people who were there. The, the theme of this fit is topsy-turvy. And this is the story. There are two ways to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ways is in honor of our friends from North Shield. This is the story of how Master Valerius Pencalvus from Cary Antirth Moor won Crown Tourney. And that was a noble and honorable story. He fought well. He was, I call him Master because he was a laurel, but he was not a knight at that time. He was an unbelted fighter. So that is one way to tell the story, and it is a wonderful story, and Valerius deserves all praise and honor. He fought an excellent chivalric, chivalric tradition, which I will tell you, but the topsy-turvy way to tell the story. This is the story, this is the story of how Fern lost crown tourney and yet took the throne. Oh. And I thank, and I thank Master Moon Wolf for that title. <laughs> Sometimes I have to tell the story in the third person. I'm not so good at telling stories about myself. In those days, Fern was an aspiring fighter. She had been the first lady, the first lady fighter authorized in the Middle Kingdom. These days were long enough ago, North Shield was still part of the Middle Kingdom. Eldermere was still part of the Middle Kingdom. There were not so many women fighting in those days as there are now. But, but Fern, was, Fern came from a, a, strong, hard, a strong group with a great tradition of Northwoods, a lot of fighters, a lot of knights, good share of royalty. They knew, they knew what they were doing. They trained her well. This is why I can't tell the story. <laughs> they, tra they trained her well, and, she, and in those days, fighters were unbelted fighters had to be invited to fight in Crown Treaty, you didn't volunteer. You hoped that the king would notice you and would invite you to fight in Crown Tourney. In those, in those days, Fern, Fern was an aspiring fighter. She was on the tourney circuit. She'd been to all, if not all the baronies in the, it's hard to get to all the baronies in that kingdom, but at least she had, she had friends and acquaintances. She knew all the knights in the kingdom. She had friends and acquaintances in all the baronies of the kingdom. Busy, busy, active, like many of the people in this room, <laughs> in your most active days. And she had fought in crown tourney before, but she was ambitious, wanted to do well in this crown tourney, eager to, to make a good showing, just like all the other squires, because if you look good in crown tourney, the knights notice you, and you can hope to have your ambitions forwarded. No promises, but, but you know, it looks, good if, it looks good if you do good in Crown Tourney. Fern was fighting for her, her then husband, uh, a knight from Northwoods, and he was not fighting, so this was fine. Master Valerius from Carianterth was fighting for his new lady friend who, who was new to the SCA, and she and Master Valerius' other friends said, Sure, sure, it'll be, it'll be fine, you know, you, it's nice to get fought for in Crown Tourney. And Valerius has to fight for a lady, this is a good thing, you do it, it'll be fine. Um, so there's a problem. Then they, they realized this before, before Crown Tourney. He, she didn't meet the membership requirements, she was too new. <coughs> membership requirements included six months of membership before before Crown Tourney. This is a reasonable requirement, I would say. You, you don't want someone to walk in yesterday and pay their membership fee and become princess tomorrow. Well, so we all understood that, no problem. Valerius's other friends, Sir Andrew Greencloak, Master Will of Wilshire, a Laurel Armorer, Mistress Ariane Ganlu, they, they had a cunning plan. <laughs> the cunning plan was that the cunning plan was that Valerius would go into Crown Tourney and he'd do really good and he would be noticed by the knights and he'd make it high up to the list like quarterfinals or something and in order to do that he would fight for his good friend Mr. Sarianman who was by the way a Laurel Harper so so well trained in the arts and she was 
dating Master, she was dating Sir Andrew Greencloak. All, everybody's all good friends, perfectly well understood. So, from Kiranturth comes the one group of friends, from Northwoods comes Fern and her group of friends, and Fern fights valiantly, valiantly, and loses her first fight in Crown Journey. But, you know, to a knight it's reasonable. And the second fight was a bye, so she effectively wins that fight, and that's nice. And the third fight was another night, and history, history. So Fern's out of Crown Journey. Feeling kind of bad, you know, it's a disappointment. She goes over to the other building. This was in Vermvald. This was one of the Crown Tourneys in Vermvald. I'll tell you the year in, in modern terms because I've lost track of SCA. Um, 1984, for, the, for those who like to put things in perspective. So Fern packs up her armor away and, and throws, a, throws a dress surcoat over her arming clothes and goes off, goes off to help uh, to help the kingdom kingdom arts minister, that, and that was Mira Del Blackwood, to help her do the ANS competition. Okay, I need some more help grading. At least I can go do something. It's only we've all, it's only been the second round of Crown Tourney. There's a long time now. Well, <laughs> well, time passes, and the ANS stuff gets graded, and an emergency occurs. The knight comes, comes running in, Fern's knight comes running in and says, we need you back at the list field. We need you right now. What? What's going on? Hurry, come on over here. When I get there, we discover it's time for the finals. Valerius is in the finals. And the other finalist is Jarl Sir Berenguer, who had been king of the Middle Kingdom before, an honorable Viking, a good man. But Valerius is in the finals. Wow, this is beyond his wildest dreams of doing good in Crown Tourney. Coming in second in Crown Tourney, that's pretty nice. Except for the fact that his, his inspiration, Mistress Ariane, is crying her eyes out in the corner, having realized that she does not want to be princess to anyone other than her boyfriend, Sir Andrew Greencloak. <laughs> So there's this long pause before the finals. There's always a pause. There's a longer pause than usual. <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. And the king and queen were, were Eliahu Ben Yitzhak and Eleanor Dinever, their first, their first reign. They were friends with everyone, with, with all parties. All parties were friends. But what are we going to do? Valerius. Valerius in the highest traditions of chivalry and honor is offers to 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 yield the finals right now no fighting at all just yield Jarl Sir Berenger who was a successful king previously he can be king Valerius has accomplished his goal he doesn't want doesn't want Arianwin to be crying anymore nobody wants Arianwin to be crying anymore <laughs> seems like a good idea to him but but nobody else likes this. <laughs> and I'm not just saying the king doesn't like it, and I'm not just saying Berenguer. Berenguer doesn't like it either. Yeah. Nobody likes the thought that we could skip the finals and just have a winner without, without demonstrating it in the finals. Nobody likes that. The knights don't like it, the ladies don't like it, the, king and queen don't, the kingdom officers don't. Nobody thinks that that is a satisfactory way to run a crown tourney. And if you had been there and they had asked your opinion, I think you would have agreed with that too. We can't just have one guy throw the pie, oh, th thanks, I've had enough, it's over to you. <laughs> but Valerius offered. He would have done it. Now, the other friends from Carantirth, they have the second cunning plan. <laughs> and the second cunning plan is, he could fight for Fern. Um, she was in Crown Tourney. She has met all the requirements for being royalty. She was invited to fight in Crown Tourney. She's friends. She's from Northwoods and he's from Carrianturth, so it's reasonable to have two sides of the kingdom covered. This is not the first time that the Middle Kingdom has had royalty who were not romantically involved. This is, we're okay with this. But it has to be, has to be figured out. And, and I'm 
so this is why this is why they came and got me. He could fight for you for it. I go, what? <laughs> To the finals already. That's at the, the finals. Moi? <laughs> so I'm trying to have a cunning plan of my own. <laughs> well, what about what about um um what about Countess Emmelin, who is a noble fighter, and she's already been queen once, so she knows how to do this. No, no, we're Emmelin, Countess Emmelin's very nice, but but you're but but we're better friends with you. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, uh, my mom. Um, and I couldn't think of any better coming plan either. Mm -hmm. So, so then one of her friends whispers in his ears, "Hey," and I th I'm, I'm interpreting this. Hey, stupid! Mm -hmm. Go down on your knee and ask her politely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hilarious, not being stupid. <laughs> and, and I ask you, if you have the the finalist and crown attorney on his knees, asking nicely if he can fight for you, and your husband behind you is saying, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> um, there does not seem any reason to say no. So I said, okay, yeah, yes, okay, we'll do it. Thank you. And now it's, and now it's the finals. There are pictures of, of the finalists. There, there are pictures of the the king and the queen and the two, the two uh, consorts, the two prospective consorts, and Jarl Berenger's lady is well dressed in her pretty clothes, and she's got a nice one. And Fern is in her fighting tunic with her gambus on and her knee pads and her fighting boots and her hair and these two long pigtails standing up there and, and trying to look serious. <laughs> Trying, trying to look like I belonged there, <laughs> like, like it was a plan. This was not, this was not the plan. <laughs> three fights, three fights. Jarl Berger won one, Galerius won another. We went all the way to the third fight. Oh. All the way to the third fight. Valerius won the third fight. People who watched from the outside uh, other spectators say, and the sun came through the windows of the field house that time, and the sun came and it brightened up the list area, and Valerius was crown prince, and yours truly became crown princess. <laughs>